Hi everyone, it's Sophie Rowe here from the One NHS Finance Central team. Today I'm going to talk you through all things ONS and what, what we have coming up throughout October and November that you might like to get involved in. So let's start with accreditation. We were delighted to have received 21 applications for accreditation in September, which were all approved. These were 12 at level one, six at level two, and three at level three. A massive congratulations to all of those organisations, and particularly well done to University Hospitals Coventry and Warwickshire, Midlands and Lancashire CSU, and Mersey Care NHS Foundation Trust for level three. There are only 21 organisations across the country that are level three. It is a fantastic achievement. This now takes us to 85% of trusts and ICBs at least at level one. So we look forward to growing that percentage over the next year. We also had a CESA training take place last month. So if you missed that, you can watch it back on our YouTube channel. But we've also got our dates confirmed for 2025. So you can book on via the website now if you'd be interested in becoming an assessor. I'm also always happy to have a chat if you would like to know more about being an assessor. Now moving on to demystifying NHS finance. We have two more webinars coming up as part of our Proud to be Ops series. Understanding budgets and spreadsheets on the 14th of October and business cases on the 29th of October. We also have NHS finance for junior doctors on the 8th of October and NHS finance for all non-finance staff on the 19th of November. Numbers are looking really good for these ones, but there are still spaces left if you do have um, some clinical or non-finance colleagues who might like to find out more about finance. And a big thank you to all our FACE network members who've been delivering many of these sessions for us. It's much appreciated and the feedback has, has been fantastic. So moving on to our value makers, uh, we had received 117 nominations for the Value Maker Awards this year. That beat our total of 110 from last year, which is fantastic to see so many of you taking the time to nominate your colleagues and recognise the hard work that they've been doing. So watch this space because the shortlist will be announced very shortly and the award winners will be announced at the Value Maker Annual Conference, my favourite event of the year, on the 7th of November. The event is taking place in London, but it is a hybrid event. So if you aren't able to attend, please do tune in online. We've got some fantastic sessions lined up for you. Um, we want to hear all the great things our value makers have been doing up and down the country. Please do tune in. Other things under Future Focus Finance, um, we're running our second session on finance departments of the future. Are you ready? Uh, this is with former Microsoft Finance Director, Ollie Deacon. We ran one in September and it was fully booked and due to demand, we're running another one in October on the 15th. We've currently got 214 bookings for this one. We can take up to 300. So if you are interested, I really recommend this session. Um, Ollie talks about AI and technology and the skills that, that we need to develop um, in working with these technologies. Um, really fascinating uh, session. So please do tune in if of interest. We did record the session that took place in September and that is on our website. And um, we will also um, record the one that's taking place on the 15th of October, if you're un unable to tune in live. We've also got um, a session on menopause awareness on the 10th of October. And then we've got two health and wellbeing showcases coming up. So a big thank you to Bradford District Care and MIA for um, sharing all the fantastic things they've been doing for the health and wellbeing of their finance staff. Moving on to the National Finance Academy, we've extended the deadline for applications for the Breaking Diversity Barriers Development Programme. So you've now got a couple of extra weeks to apply. This programme helps to remove obstacles for bands seven to eight B finance professionals, ensuring everyone can achieve their potential regardless of background. Applications are now also open for the National Finance Leaders Talent Pool. Um, if this one is of interest to you, you have until the 3rd of January. This is for um, staff who are, think they're ready now or in the very future to become a CFO. So if that is of interest, please have a look on our website and look at the application form. We've also this month just launched a new network. This is our CFO buddy network. Um, this will offer informal support to newly appointed CFOs. So we'll be pairing up newly appointed CFOs with experienced CFOs to try and create a strong network of peer-to-peer -peer guidance. 
So we are looking for experienced CFOs to sign up as a buddy. So um, if you are interested, please do get in touch. We also in October have our NHS Finance Inclusion Conference taking place on the 16th. We've already got over 120 of you booked, which is fantastic. But this event will recognise the richness of our diverse community within the theme of race, culture and beliefs. It's going to be one of our standout events of the year, so please do tune in if you are um, able to, and we will record the session. We've also just published um, some new guidance and resources on talent management, including some talent management case studies. These are on the website available for you to, to access now, so go check those out. And then moving on to the Finance Innovation Forum, the cohort nine of the innovation program innovations have now been published, so go check those out on our website. Uh, we're delighted that we've received innovations from every region, um, so go check them out if you've got something that you, some problem, you, you might have an innovation there that can help you solve it. So go and have a look on the website and, and check those out. Also from the Finance Innovation Forum, we ran a technical RPA event um, last month. It was really well attended and well received, but you can now watch that back if you're unable to attend on the day. You can watch that back on our YouTube channel. So go check that out. I think that's it from me for this for this month. Uh, just to say that the team will be out and about at various conferences over the next month or so. So please do come and say hello to us. Um, we'd love to have a chat with you all. Thanks for listening. <laughs>